What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams and in today's video you're gonna learn how to use the WP Bakery WordPress Page Builder plugin single image element. The element that you can apply into your page layout to apply single images in the way that you want, fast and easily. First of all, we're gonna move to our WordPress dashboard. And in the dashboard, we're gonna move to page, add new. Of course, you can do the same in posts or custom post types. The WordPress 5 by default gonna be loading the Gutenberg editor. You just need to click in the blue button for load the old editor and apply the page builder elements. You can apply it in both back end or front end. By now, I'm gonna be using the back end, but in the end of the video, I'm gonna show how, how easy it is in the front end as well. As soon as you click on back end, you're gonna see a button with a plus. You need to click to add elements, and in the elements, we're gonna search for single image, the one with an image icon. This one. Click on it, and the single image settings tab gonna appear. First of all, it's the way to get title, the single image title, the single image section title. The second one is the image source. You can apply from media library, for example, or from the featured image or some external sources like a link. We're going to be using the media library and in the image, we're going to click in the green plus button so we can select the image from our gallery or upload a new one and in the image size I recommend that you set as full but you can set a custom size or you can apply medium for example the caption it's in the case that the image has a caption and you want to display it the alignment I always recommend that you align the image to the center according to the image size the image full size it can change the layout now, let me show you how the image appears on the page. Let me just apply some space. And it is. This is the image present on our page. Now, let's start editing a bit. First of all, we're going to change this title. Secondly, we're going to have a look at the image style. We're going to change the style of the image. If you have a look at the corners, you're gonna see a little, a little rounded. Let me find something that can change a bit more for something more visible. A circular border, for example. This changes completely the image style. And it's just one of the much options that you have using this element. Now, the click action, on click action, the first option, it's linked to the image source, but I do recommend instead of this, this open the pretty photo, it's gonna be opening a, a light box with the image, now let me just apply the single image into a column layout, and add the in the second column, some title and text content. So we can make our image occupate less space on our layout. And if you click on the image, you're gonna be opening the pretty photo where you can have a zoom on the image, for example. Let's go back to the on-click section. And we're gonna need that the image open a custom link. Now you're gonna type your link and select if you want that the link opens in the same window or in a new tab of your browser. Now if you click on the image, you're gonna be redirected to the amazing visualmoto.com website, for example. Simple, fast and easy. Lastly, you can finally apply some effects while the image is loading, for example, some CSS animations. To 
make the layout fits, you can apply the opposite element effect as CSS presets to the text block so we can make it loads more elegantly. Now, finally, in the case that you want to apply the image into some full widget section or full widget layout that you do not want space between the image and contents, I'm gonna be leaving a link in the description below and a card over here, but the thing to look is the design options. Just have a look at the video that I'm gonna apply in the description below, so you can see more about it. Now I'm gonna be enab enabling the front-end page builder editor so we can edit this page using the front-end, one of the both options for editors that the WP Bakery plugin offers. In the WP Bakery, you're gonna move to Rule Manager and front-end editor. As you can see, it's disabled. You can enable with a click. Save change. And now let's go back to our page. The page title is single image. Let me search for it for a while. Single image WP Bakery page builder. And now you're gonna see the front end editor button next to the back end editor. You're gonna click on it so we can load the page in the front end. And the process to apply the image, it's pretty much the same. We're gonna click on the plus button inside the layout, select the single image. But now you're gonna be able to see the result of what you are doing immediately with no need to reload the page or load the preview, for example. Let me apply another image. And here's our image. Let me delete this text. And we have two images on our page. Simple and easy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to check out the visualmodo.com portfolio of amazing WordPress themes with all those features and much more. And much more compatibility with other plugins. And I see you later. All the best!